Hello everyone, this is Glenn Irvin and this is a quick tutorial video about posting course updates. The first thing you do is go into one of your courses and right now I'm in a course called Falcon Academy and then you're going to go to the updates. Sometimes if you've set your course options to default uh, as your landing page, you can default your landing page and your students landing page to the course updates. What would happen is that anytime they log into Schoology and they go to your course, they would always land at the updates. You can also set it, of course, to materials as their landing page. So depending upon what you want your students to see first. Um, if you put it on updates, you, they can go ahead on a daily basis. You can post lesson plans. You can post a daily uh, a poll. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do each one of those things. In the updates, you have a bunch of different types of tools similar to the ones that you have in under Create Assignment. Let's take a look at them. This is to add any types of files that you would go ahead and add to the update. You can also add links. You can also pull in resources from your resources or save uh, stuff here at Schoology. You can also do a little audio or video recording, though this audio video recording is a little bit limited. You can do a poll, which I do polls all the time. You can add different types of options and do a quick poll. It's anonymous, uh, very easy to go ahead and do. And you can also uh, copy from a different uh, class. So let me go back and just click updates again and I'll show you how this works. It's super simple. You can just say, hi everyone, um, your assignment today is blah, 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 blah. And you can go ahead and put in what your lesson plan is for the day. You can attach files, blah, blah, blah. You can do any of those kinds of things that you would do under your uh, assignment posts. You can, of course, change the font here to bold it. You can make it a little bit bigger uh, also here with uh, this uh, button here. Uh, you can insert different types of content uh, in, uh, for math teachers. That would be like symbols or equations if you have like a daily question of the day. Uh, so there's a couple of different things as far as formatting that you can do here. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Oh, once you go ahead and post this, all the students will immediately receive a notification that whoever the teacher is just posted an update. So it's kind of a way to be able to say, hey, here's some news about the class. Uh, so let's look at some examples from one of my classes. Let's look at Spanish uh, 1 here. And I'm going to show you another way you can use updates also. So my landing page is materials, but let's go ahead and click updates. And we'll look at one of the updates that I posted. Here it says, meet in class each day this week, bring your iPad. I did that on a Monday so that students would uh, be able to know what's going on. You can see a student here responded with a question and then you can go ahead and answer back uh, even before class begins. This is so nice, especially if you have a different way of doing class each of the different days. You can remind them about what they're supposed to do. The other thing that I'm having my students do is share actual documents with each other. In these case, these are Google Docs. They're sharing with their group mates so they can easily locate their documents within the updates here in Schoology. It's a great way to be able to share materials, uh, to be able to have discussions even here on the updates, depending upon if you want your students to post here. You can also limit the students posts here by just clicking over here on course options and then selecting that only uh, admins can post on the course uh, post updates. Same thing goes with comments. You can limit the comments also that students make here by changing over here on course options. So that's it. That's how you go ahead and create a, an update uh, on Schoology. And why don't you go ahead and try that in a couple of your different courses. And that's all I've got. Adios.